Okay, guys, we want to just continue looking at a few more programs. Um, the next one that we want to look at is actually the color sensor, um, which also can be used as a light sensor as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this one's going to work. This one's going to um, be essentially another weight block as well. So we're going to start with our move steering block, and we're going to go ahead and turn it to on. So it's going to run for an unlimited amount of time. Then we're going to come down to our con flow control, and we're going to grab our weight block, and we're going to put that in place in as well. Now, for this one, what we want to do is we want to use the color sensor. And we're going to come over and we're going to hit compare. And initially for this one, what we want to do is we want to do reflected light intensity. So go ahead and click on that. And you'll see then that we get some new options when we do that. So we get the uh, compare type and we can click on that and we can say equal to, we can say not equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or less than or equal to. And so in this case, we want to actually use the less than. And over here then we get the value of what uh, the light, reflected light value. Now this initially doesn't mean a whole lot to us. We don't know what that means. What does 50 mean? I don't know. Does that mean 50% of the light? So there's a really kind of uh, cool way that we can figure that out. So if we take our cord and we plug it in to our robot, then once it connects down here, we see it's connected. We can click on this second tab, which says port view, and we get some numbers down here. And so what I want to do is I'm going to um, hit select input here, and I'm going to click on reflected light intensity. And what that will do then, this number here now will begin to tell me what the reflected light intensity is. So as I move my robot around, and I move it over top of different things, I can see what that's going to be. Okay, so as I am over top of like my desk, it's there at about 15. As I go over top of a lighter surface like the, my computer, it's there. As I go over top of a white piece of paper, it gets up to like almost like 100. So that value then, I can see what that's going to be based on different um, areas that that light sensor is over top of. So that tells me that, you know, as I'm over, you know, um, a black item, that's at like 14. So I'm pretty good with 50. So if I use, you know, the floor, something that's a, like a lighter surface, I get a higher number. So for now, I'm, I'm going to just leave that at 50. I feel pretty good about that number. So what I want to do then is we're going to use this as a um, as our weight one as well. And so what I want to do then is I want to go ahead and put in another move steering block. And so now I have my uh, my move steering block, which is going to make it move for a limited amount of time, and it's going to wait until it sees a light reflected value that's less than 50. And when it does that, I want to come over here and I want to change what's going to happen. And so I'm going to put this at negative 75 so that it will go backwards, maybe for two rotations. And so I'm going to go ahead. I still have it plugged in, so I'm going to go ahead and download that. And let's go ahead and test it and see what happens. All right, guys, so I've got my robot. I've got my program downloaded on it. And I've actually got it on this board that has this yellow circle with a black outline on it. A little preview of some things that are to come. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And if um, our program is done correctly, what should happen is it should run. Um, it should go unlimited until it goes the light sensor, which my light sensor looks like this. And it has this kind of red, um, almost like infrared light shining down. And you can see it kind of makes that circle there on the bottom of on the board. So I'm going to run it, and it should drive until it sees the black line, and then it's going to back up. So let's go ahead and take a look and see. There we go, just like we wanted.